What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So, I am uh, like on a break right now from work, and I'm just going through the cave, thinking of ways to improve it. Improve displays. This doesn't mean necessarily buying like more statues per se, but just trying to improve the display overall. You know, because I think that's one big thing when I'm truly done like buying statues years from now. The main focus will be just improving displays. I mean, I doubt I'm going to change like my actual statue shelving just because that's too much of an investment in work. But there's a lot of things you can do to improve your existing display without buying new statues. Now, of course, you're going to be spending some money, but not near as much as, you know, a twelve, fifteen hundred dollar statue or something like that. Now, I've been looking at my Lord of the Rings display trying to determine how we can improve this. There's a few ways I've been thinking of doing this. So right now we have one of the Jerry Vander Felt posters, the Fellowship. We don't have the Two Towers or Return of the King. If I wanted to, I could do the Two Towers there, like remove that Sauron poster, and Return of the King right there, because that's a big empty wall. Granted, his wing will block some of it. You know, if you look at this, the wing will block some of it, but there's the majority of that wall that's really kind of ugly because I previously had a TV wall mounted. I'm not the best at, you know, cleaning holes and whatnot. So you can still see like where the holes were. So I think it's a good idea to, you know, kind of do that. Also, if you want to have this truly like matching per se, I would say move that directly behind that. There is a sword by United Cutlery costs like 400 bucks or something and it's aragorn sword that also has like this exact same type of thing but like uh gondor uh you know type of thing and a plaque in front and i think that would be sick and matching like sauron aragorn sword which obviously you know was the same sword that chopped his finger off so i, I think that would look really cool and match you know like i do like sauron's poster behind him a lot but I couldn't just do like one more poster there. If I'm going to do another Lord of the Rings poster, it has to be all three, all three matching. Technically, I could throw a poster down there, but behind all the statues, I, I don't like posters that, you know, like if I was to put a poster down there, I wouldn't really be able to see it and it'd kind of affect how you view the statue. Generally speaking, I like posters when they're directly above the statue and the statue isn't blocking the poster, so nothing's blocking anything. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to do it, you know, like Jetwing Optimus, obviously he's blocking half that poster, which sucks. I could raise all those posters, but I don't know, it's a huge hassle. And all the other posters are pretty much fine outside of Shockwave. You know, and these are small posters. I don't really want them too up high because then this will be too spacious. But yeah, I don't like posters when the statues block it. Just like I don't like putting a statue behind a statue if the statues block it. Whenever I see, you know, someone doing that, especially other YouTubers, it drives me bonkers. When they have one statue and then literally another statue behind it and it's blocking like 80% of the statue. And I'm like, dude, why even have it? Just sell it. If you can't properly display a statue, it's best sell it. That's always my rule. If you can't display it properly, sell it. Now, sometimes, you know, there's the exception, you know, like Kong Bust. I can't, the proper way to display that is up high so you can see it better. But based off my setup, the only way to get that up high is to lower that. And I'm not lowering that, you know, but it still looks good down there. I just can't see the eyes, you know, granted when I do want to look at it good, I just get on the ground more or less. I'm also thinking of just getting rid of all this and throwing a, another chair in here just like my other two rooms where i have a chair that way i can spin around It'll, i'll be lower to the ground so i can visually see everything you know but i was thinking of i mean i like having weights the th here's the thing i go to the gym every day on the off chance the gym is closed there's a snowstorm or whatever i like having weights at the house now, i could probably throw these weights and just sell the bench I don't have anywhere I could just like store this bench, really. Maybe I could throw these weights up in my guest bedroom. Maybe I could turn that into the mini gym because I want to get this out of here. I don't want this here anymore. I want to just get another chair similar to my other room, you know, 
Now for my Jurassic Park setup, you know, I got the Barbasol can, like I told you guys, this was cheap, like eight bucks off eBay. We're also getting the license plate later today that's gonna go there. I do wanna put something right there. I'm just not sure what yet. I've been thinking of a few different things, but I'm just not 100% sure yet. You know, but right now, you know, <clears throat> I would say, you know, over the last nine years, generally when I'd go into my collection, I'd always think, what's the next statue I can buy? And that is the case for some of my displays. Some. I always think in my DBZ setup, you know, what's the most crucial characters, moments, scenes I want to collect? You know, like we just got the new Nappa and Vegeta from the Saiyan saga. And I'm kind of trying to do everything by saga, you know, starting with Saiyan. You know, in essence, I was going to put Tien there and then Sume Frieza, Sume Goku. We haven't seen Sume Goku. I'm kind of waiting to see that. But, you know, I was thinking if we don't get a Sume Goku, I don't buy it. I can fit Piccolo with Frieza and Goku. Just remove all the busts. I'll store those in the closet. Switch them out when I want to. I could do Piccolo, Goku, Frieza, Krillin, Tien, Vegeta versus Nappa. Or Vegeta and Nappa. And if you do Vegeta and Nappa there, it follows the whole villain suite and you just do Sume Frieza right there. So we have an all Cloud Studio display, all KD display. I think it'd look really good. Putting Sume Frieza there makes it all licensed for those three villains. You know, and of course we're going to do KD, Vegeta, and Androids eventually down there. You know, and I was thinking, that's not a bad idea. But then again, KD told me personally, he's like, dude, save your space for me. I'm going to come out with some extreme fire pieces this year. So I'm just like, oh, my Jupiter. I like that, you know, Nappa and Vegeta, but I'm like, nothing beats KD for me. What if KD came out with a Goku versus Vegeta diorama that was just like mind-blowingly sick? I'd much rather have that, of course. So that's, you know, like a dilemma I go through. But I, I feel like I should save my space for KD products. <laughs> so that's why I'm holding off, you know. Sometimes I kind of wish I kept my video game display as just one fourth and not did bus. I do love the bus, but I did really like how I had just the one fourth ultimate video game wall. I've even thought like, what if I moved clicker bus and Kratos bus somewhere else so I could have the video game wall? If I wanted to do it, you know, I could do like Resident Evil 3 here, Devil May Cry there, you know, although it doesn't leave space for like Uncharted, Last of Us. You know, you'd have to do like clicker bust here. So it's just not going to happen. I have to go through with my bust idea. That's the thing. I, I can't keep uh, changing my ideas. That, that It's very costly when you constantly change your ideas. You know, anytime I see someone like, oh, I'm changing directions. And all of a sudden they're posting all their statues for sale. Those change of directions are very costly nowadays. They didn't used to be, but now they are. So you can't really do that. By the way, folks, I'm still selling the Ant Army Majin Buu, Kid Buu bust. If you're interested, message me. You know, we're going to sell that. I'm going to eventually sell that Dante as well. Once I need the space for another IP that I want, you know, like Elden Ring or whatnot, I'll eventually sell it. I'm not, I don't plan to keep it long term. This is my Devil May Cry display, but you know, it's a very cool statue, but eventually I will sell that. You know, it was never a end game piece. Sometimes I get pieces and I know I won't keep them forever, but you know, it is what it is, you know, but throughout the, you know, every day I always go through each of my statue rooms, looking at them, admiring, of course, the statues and art. I am thinking, you know, I got these three props here before I had those in the bathroom, but I don't want to return them there. I was thinking honestly of just wall mounting Molinear right here. I could definitely wall mount it like right there. And Captain's Helmet, I could put down there and wall mount the, you know, Infinity Gauntlet right above. Previously, I put the Infinity Gauntlet next to Captain Marvel, which I can do as well. I could technically wall mount Captain's little helmet thing. I mean, I kind of want that helmet thing right here where Groot's at and just move Groot, but I always liked it next to that Captain. I wish I could put it there, but those freaking bars are there. That's unfortunate. But most likely, I think I will wall mount the hammer, though. I think that's the best. Uh, just have it by Thor 
you know, because he does obviously use both. You know, the only, it, you know, thing is, like, unless you do a wall shelf, you can't display that Thor Molnir, you know, little display stand, which is really nice. You know, so that's the biggest shame of, you know, just wall mounting it and having something hold the hammer. You know what I mean? I'm waiting on that snow globe from Infinity Studios. I saw someone got it from Singapore. He said he never got tracking, just randomly showed up. And that's honestly how I got those. I'm waiting to get it, because once I get it, I'm going to place it right there. Right in the middle of the whole Mera Aquaman display I built. Which does look really good. I really like this display. Absolute killer. But yeah, you got this big empty spot. So just throw the snow globe right there. Boom. That will look good. I would actually love to put my Infinity Gauntlet here as well, but there's no space. Space is my enemy, folks. So, Bell Bust is definitely going to be delayed for many weeks. Uh, Resin GK did not ship it. Uh, you know, it's been a long time since I've paid him. He hasn't shipped it, and he claims he's going to be shipping it this week. But the, I think the earliest I might get it, honestly... February 13th will be a video if I get it. So we're several weeks out, folks, before Bell Bust is a potential possibility. I've, you know, so, yeah, I really, really want it. I paid for it, like, December 4th, and I still don't have it, so I'm very pissed off. You know, the whole idea of me paying for it and paying for Express is to get it, you know, quickly, not two months later. But... Here we are. So the Predator Bust, let's see, today I'm posting this Tuesday, arrives tomorrow. So I'm going to post the video Thursday. This bust is crucial in so many ways. Because one, I could potentially consider selling one of my Predator one-thirds. I'm definitely getting rid of the Fugitive Bust. I already got a buyer. They're picking up local. I just got to get the two boxes out. And done. But... I'm, I'm real curious how it's going to look on this base I've created, you know. So I took the Motaro base, threw a Prime 1 logo in front, threw a bunch of leaves. I'm literally just going to put it right on top of the leaves, throw a scorpion, dog tag, and just have the skull right next to it. It's kind of my idea. I'm hoping it looks really good. So that's the idea. Another alternative idea I could do if I wanted to. Uh, so you see the Prime one, which is obviously, I, I wish this was life size, but this is a pretty cool looking base. You know, some of the things I don't know what's going on, like what is that? I mean, it looks cool, but, you know, like imagine if this was life size. Now, that would be a huge base. You could probably reduce the backside a little bit, but if I wanted to get this made into life size format and even add probably like, where like right here you could probably add some like leaves and you know maybe uh i was thinking even like some of those logos you see right there from when he killed uh blew himself up put some of those logos throughout it you know i think i could you know i could have that done so if i'm not happy with this i'm gonna commission a base for it just like that but add you know some more predator themed stuff to it you know, some leaves right where he comes out, some some of those red logos throughout it, uh, maybe incorporate a logo into it or just put the logo in front of it, you know, and definitely want to have, you know, the whole idea is I want the Easter eggs of Prime 1, so that, 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 all with it incorporated into it, plus the jungle theme, that is of utmost importance to me, so... But I'm considering commissioning that if this idea doesn't work out good. So we'll see how it works out. I'll know, you know, in a day. For me, technically two days because I'm filming this Monday. But, yeah, I'm really excited to get this bust. Honestly, super excited. When I saw a photo on Instagram that he sent me, I literally thought, like, with that mask on, I was like, oh, my gosh, that looks just like from the movie. Like, literally just from the movie. You know, for the most part, most statues and busts I see, I can always tell it's a statue. It doesn't truly look lifelike. Even most silicones, like, it's very lifelike, but you can still tell it's a statue. So it's very difficult, you know, to 
make it truly look alive, if you know what I mean. And I think his Predator bus achieved that look. Now, I do have several busts I think have achieved that look, and I think that one is it. So, very excited to get it. Of course, there's always those hater comments, people saying the torso is too small, the head's too big, looks like a garage kit, yada, yada, yada. I don't care what any of you guys think. I bought it for myself because I'm the one that loves it. So I'm very excited for it. People always do love to piss on other people's things when they love something. Now, that's just part of life. That's why you should never care what other people think. Yeah, people are constantly asking people's other other people's opinions so it's like i i guess there's that fine line of caring what people think and what they don't think you know what i mean like i i all send photos of you know photoshop things to you know fellow statue collectors and be like hey what do you think it's, you know like that type of thing what do you think of this statue if you own it in person what do you think but then when they're a hater i don't care what you think <laughs> I, I guess that's just how we are folks Little gizmo is sleeping. But yeah, uh, I think things are going pretty good though. Very excited for Predator Bust. After him, we're going to get a custom Link one fourth and Bell Bust and Witch King. Those are the upcoming statues. Let me think if there's anything else. That's it for right now. Those are the next statues coming in, folks. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.